I completely forgot about this add-on decal machine. We can add decals, create decals, and do stuff with decals. So this is a very old model of mine. Let's select a mesh D, and then I'm just gonna click on these examples here. Let's throw on maybe this clip here. And you can see how very quickly we've added in a decal. Sick. Now, well, this is a pretty poor example, but if we wanna make sure that it's sitting flat to the surface, I can press D again and go project. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. If I wanna change the color of the material, we can go V to match. And then I can use a scroll wheel to change the colors, glass, the default color, SD to change the material. And we can go shift and scroll. There we go. So there we go. We've now added in this mm, spiciness. We can see that's a little bit of clipping. That's fine. Decal machine can fix that. Press D again, adjust, hold alt and move left and right till it's sitting above. There we go. So it's fixed the problem. Sweet. Uh, there is a wide range of already decals that come in and there's plenty of decals available anywhere and everywhere pretty much. So let's just scale that down, G. Uh, we will go, once again, T, project, make sure it's sitting on the surface. D, adjust, Alt, up, there we go. Click, left click, and so you're seeing how we can just throw on some magical detail decals. I'm gonna left click here. And wherever the cursor is, if I press now D and throw in uh, some grills, Oy. let's rotate that around, bring it out a smidgen. D, uh, project, there we go. It's kind of suave. Now, obviously it's followed the contours of this monstrosity that I've created very, very many moons ago, but you can see just how quickly we've added in a decal just to add that extra pizzazzle to the ship or whatever, you know. There's even, you know, we can add in kind of like warning signs. Mm, no step. <laughs> so now to create a decal, delete that default cube, shift A, mesh, plane, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna go control shift B to bevel the um, plate. Let's select everything. I to do an inset, E to extrude. E to extrude that down, I'm gonna scale that in. From here, let's just add in a new plane. And so what we're gonna be doing this first one is going to be creating a decal. So you can see this is what our decal looks like. Now, if I press N to bring up the side panel, go to the machine tab, let's go into the show creation panel up the top here. And I'm just gonna click create a simple decal. From here, if we go into material mode, we can see that is black. Can you guess why that is black? Yes, because the normals are wrong. So let's go check out the normals. Face orientation, it is wrong. Shift N, back into object mode. Let's do another simple decal. And there we go. We've created a very quick, nice decal gorgeousness. Now we can then go ahead and create a cube. And I'm just gonna go G, hold control to snap it to face. There we go. Nice. So from here, we can press the plus sign and we can add it to any decal library that we want to create. Uh, decal name, plate, thing. We're done with the caps. Add to decal library. So now when I press D, we can see my decals 001 because that's what the library is called. There it is. Scale, G, hold. There we go. Look at that. How grouse is that? Now it's not going to work on complex items. So for instance, if I go into asset browser, you donkey, and we go into my kit bashing set, let's grab, you know, like this random piece. Let's scale it down, control A, apply scale. Let's go Alt G. And what we need to do is actually make sure that our mesh is below the Z plane and the origin. And then from here, I can go to machine and we can go create a simple decal. And then that's created us a nice little decal. Now we, are, we do have a little bit of warpage around the edges. So that's just something to be mindful of. Um, I find that if I start off with a square and kind of build stuff inside, nice, but it doesn't end there. From it, <laughs> from here, let's go cube. I'm gonna go control B to make our life easier. And we've kind of created this Sphery McSphery. Shift D, I'm gonna rotate this around like that, have something a little bit crazy. Shift selecting the first one, I can now press D and I can go slice. 
And now it's created us a decal of the slice. What? Now the material color is wrong at the moment, so we can go D. Let's go into an adjust. Uh, from here, we can hold control and scroll it up. And now what we're doing is going through the panels. Um, we want example panel, maybe that one looks good. Um, from here, we can see that it's kind of clipping through. Let's go D, adjust, hold alt, and just move it out a little bit. There we go. How cool is that? So now we've created a decal as a cut. Amazing. The other thing we can do is with this selected, I can press D and then we can actually do a panel cut. And so if we kind of just do this, when we go into edit mode of this object, we can see that there is a mark seen going around. Now, obviously if I go three into face mode, select a face, control L, hmm, that didn't work. I thought that was meant to work. Maybe they fixed that in Blender, whatever we are, 3.2. If I come in now and select kind of like all these vertices, there we go. We can come into material, new material, actually we'll go secondary material, assign that and we can go nice aqua blue. Of course that, let's just smooth that. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. Now from here, let's say we want to bake all this. If I come up here into the export section, let's just get rid of the creation uh, section. We go bank, um, any aliasing, let's turn that on. Yes, it increases color, preview bakes, open bake folder. Let's go bake decal. We can now see that that is one color. We can now see that the, the decals themselves have been baked onto a texture. So I can't actually select the decal itself. So if I go restore materials and decals, now this is only baking the um, the decals. It's not baking the actual textures of the object. So just keep that in mind. So for instance, if I were to go uh, shift D, select this shift D to the X, and then we were to delete our materials, create a new material over into shading uh, with node wrangler enabled control shift T. And if we were to select everything and go principal shader, we can see that we don't have a color map, but if I got the color plugged into the ambient occlusion, and this is where we can kind of come in and add in our material output. Let's go add in another principal BDSF. And I'm just gonna make this just red for now, just to make our life easier. Let's throw in a mix shader, throw that one in there and the red on the bottom just for now. Let's go sh sh search the image texture and the color is going to go into the factor. Let's go open into there. Let's go into a mask and open. Uh, let's flip that around. We can see now that we've thrown in the mask for the object. Why is there no red? Sorry, wrong mask, not cube mask. It'll be the normal mask and we go open. And then we go, we can see how we've added in our extra cut. And we can change that maybe to a gray color. Oh, 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 oh. sick. 